Jeff Mixon, and this is another episode of the Civitas Institute's Talk of the State program. Uh, joining me today is one of the Civitas Institute Policy Department folks, uh, an economist by training, Brian Balfour. Uh, Brian, you know, one of the polling issues that North Carolina citizens show a great amount of concern about is access to health care, affordability of health care, anything to do with health care. Uh, you've got a new paper out uh, titled Less Affordable, Less Access, Less Coverage. What can you tell us about it? Well, the title kind of says it all. What I did was I, I wanted to take a look at a few of the most important uh, issues as it relates to health care uh, in terms of the responses from voters that we get in our polling uh, information. Uh, and as people are concerned about, of course, affordability of health care, uh, people having access to health care, uh, of course, people are concerned with going, uh, growing government spending in health care, and of course, uh, mental health has been a big issue in the last few years as well. So what I did was kind of take a look at some, some data points uh, uh, contrasting where we are now compared to uh, 2001, just to get some folks uh, some perspective of, of where we stand and what the leadership in Raleigh has been doing over the last several years. Brian, what were some of your findings in your paper? Well, unfortunately, on, on uh, basically on all the counts, on all the uh, specific issues I was looking at, uh, North Carolina is trending really in the wrong direction. For example, uh, people are concerned about uh, the, the number or the share of people uh, that have some sort of health insurance coverage. And we look at uh, back in 2001, uh, North Carolina's uh, uninsured rate was was not too bad, actually below the national average. But you look at the most current uh, data, that number has increased steadily, and we're now we now find ourselves above the national average. Uh, and that goes for uh, children as well when you, when you break that out as part of the data point. Uh, a couple of the things that, that uh, would be of interest for people, of course, affordability, always of interest. And we look at the, the increase of an average insurance premium uh, here in North Carolina for health insurance. A a over the last seven years has increased 56%. And to put that in perspective, the national average is only uh, about 51-52%. Uh, some of our neighboring states like South Carolina, about 47%, Tennessee, 41%. So North Carolina is definitely trending. Uh, uh, the, the, the health premiums are definitely rising much more rapidly uh, than both national averages and regional states. Um, another thing of interest that I found is, uh, for example, when we want to look at access for our most vulnerable, uh, for specifically low-income people in the Medicaid uh, program here in North Carolina, uh, we look at the recipients of Medicaid, we've seen a 28% increase uh, in Medicaid recipients over the last uh, seven years. But conversely, uh, for instance, the number of Medicaid providers, uh, physicians uh, enrolled as Medicaid providers has decreased by 23%. Uh, the number of hospitals enrolled as Medicaid providers has decreased by 61%. So what we have there is folks in the Medicaid program, again, some of our most vulnerable low-income people in the state, there's more and more of those people uh, chasing fewer and fewer providers, so that's really going to restrict the access for those people. So I think uh, these kind of kind of government policies are really gumming up the works and, and making it less le uh, healthcare less accessible for uh, for a lot of folks in the state. And you know, if you've got four different hospital chains in a city like Raleigh, one of them drops coverage, you can go to the other three. You're out in a rural locality. You may not have that option. Exactly. So, very interesting uh, data and uh, something we definitely need to take a harder look at. Um, I'd encourage you to visit our website, nccivitas.org, and uh, that story is front page at the moment. And if you need to search for it, it's listed under less affordable, less access, less coverage. I'm Jeff Mixon, and this has been Talk of the State.